Chess friend, how are you? The guy who invented chess might have been a scientist with high intelligence and supernatural powers, because chess is a highly intellectual game and we need a scientist to discover new dimensions of chess. Today, we have the chess scientist Theodo Nicholas, who invented four brilliant moves with 100% accuracy, mind-blowing, e4 by Nicholas, e5 knight f3 and black could play knight c66 or a weird move like bishop c5, but black decided to go with Petrov. Knight takes e5 is the main move but after d6 we will get a classical variation from both side, but our scientist played something snikey move d4, if you capture the pawn then e5 will reinforce the knight to move, white will get fast development in this position and that move will not make any sense, so we have knight takes e4, take and we have bishop c5, black tried to create a death of Valkany tactic in this f2 pawn but white replied with, copycat move, you wanna take my pawn, I wanna take yours. Black captured the free pawn because free stuffs have zero costs, and can guess white's first brilliant move here, he sacrificed, the bishop on f7, because it exposes the king and after queen d5 check, if you dare to move back your king on f8, queen takes bishop will win up the knight on f2 through a check, and if you dare to play a nonsense type of move king e8, bishop g5 check bishop e7 take 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 and look at this, white have slightly advantages and black's pieces are very passive. It may be hard to believe now, but better things are coming, so like the video now because better things are coming in your life as we progress in our video, king g6 by him and you might think of playing rook f1 therefore black will reply with either d6 or h6 to safeguard his king, so our scientist captured the bishop to force black to capture the rook, the reason why he did this because he want fast improvement and the knight on h1 isn't going anywhere. White needs to play queen c4 to attack through g4 or e4 as per conditions, involve the knight as a volunteer to serve food in black's position, therefore black will play knight c66, rook e8, h6 to enjoy the meal, so knight c3 h6 to hide the king, here some of you might think of playing rook f8, activating the rook into action but white will play e6, sacrificing a pawn to engage the queen in this track, if he captures the pawn then after check, king f6 knight e4, king f5 bishop goes to g5. Saying hello to the queen and after the queen moves play g4, take queen check king backs castle and that's it, black is checkmated in 15 moves, congratulations, you deserve two chocolates, black said no thanks, I don't like chocolate, I like whiskey because I am an adult, well queen f4 is coming and how do you protect it, foolish man, if black said, well I can bring back my king in his home with a window, then bishop will sacrifice himself on h6, what a mind blowing sacrifice, because if you capture it then after check, if king f7 happen then after check, it will be a checkmate in few moves. One moment can change a day, one day can change a life and one life can change the world, wow what a quote by Buddha. Your one mistake changes the game completely and brings victory for white, so back to the position. Rajabov says, Hey I am 2745 LO rated, 121 LO higher than you, I can't defeat by my inferior, so let me capture the bishop, but after castle, your king will face so many difficulties in this position, what the hell the king is doing there, knight c6 queen check king runs knight g5 and we will get queen f4, how can you stop checkmate? Even queen f8 can't protect it, rook h6 was best because after queen c4, the discover check with knight e7 is coming which will be a checkmate, so g6 rook f1, queen can't save herself because his husband will get into trouble, black has to sacrifice his queen and without a queen, life and chess no meaning, he will lose the game. Life is a question and how we live it is our answer, so Rajabov brings his rook first, he want to safeguard his king position with rook e6 and knight e6, queen d4 by scientist and you know what, as a scientific discover many theories after experimenting on brack of things, theory of relativity, quantum mechanics and carbon hydrogen, white discovered a new brilliant move that changes everything, he sacrificed, the bishop on h6. Long time ago he sacrificed his bishop on f7 and now he is sacrificing his bishop on h6, the point is that, after you capture the bishop with your king, queen e3 check king runs knight g5 king g8 queen f4, this is coming and even the rook can't protect you from checkmate, as queen h4 will lead into a checkmate and friends, 
If you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my channel, so back to the position, he captured the bishop with the pawn, and Nicholas is like, let me play castle. Your king can't go to anywhere, I am slowly building up strategy to destroy you. Here black should have gone for knight c6, developing a piece but after queen e4 king g7, although it would be very a challenging position for black and white will create thousand of problems from this position, rook e7 may protect the rank and here you will see the brilliance of our scientist, knight g4, sacrificing the third piece in the game, because queen h6 followed by king g8 knight f6 would be a checkmate, h takes g5 knight f6 to checkmate you on h7 square. Black tried to protect that square but he can't protect the queen h5 check, that move is amazing and it would be a checkmate anyway. Beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negativity, Rajabov played rook e6, try to protect the rank, here comes knight f6 check, disconnecting the rook to protect the pawn, knight h4 queen f4 is coming, and if you dare to sacrifice your rook, try to reduce some attacking pieces but I have nice positional play with my rook and queen. What about queen d5 check and queen f7, you can't protect checkmate through queen g8 because of rook e8. Game will be dead lost after he lose his queen and my pass pawn will be become my second queen, chess is a game where you can have 9 queens but you need to checkmate black, that's the whole point, knight h4 to bring the queen and knight into the action, have you ever look at these types of variation in your life, thanks to the scientist to discovered that strategy, and black's full army in the queen side haven't move akin to they are the 7 sleepers den, d6 queen f4 to checkmate you. Queen f8 will lead knight g6 fork on the king and queen, he loved to his queen so much, it's better to sacrifice your king than a queen, which is why black falls in a 5 move checkmating net, to be honest, black might sacrifice his queen and survive the game till the end, he will be checkmated in long run but he could progress like this, he got checkmated by queen g8 and, it's really, what a game, just incredible, for brilliant moves with 100% accuracy, that's why I titled it. Chess scientist discovered new dimensions of chess or something, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.